Hello folks, I hope that you are having just one of the best days in your life today. Today we're going to be taking a look at George McDonald's short story, The Shadows, uh, which is another one of his stories that I have in this collection by Penguin Classics that we've been taking a look at by George McDonald, which is a complete fairy tale uh, by the gentleman. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into this uh, selection of short stories. Uh, so today we're going to look at the 26 page short story, The Shadows, which you can also find. I'll link you to two things in the comments below. Uh, the first thing that I'll link you to uh, is uh, this collection proper so you can buy it and read it in print. For those of you who are like me, it's not the biggest fan of reading things on an e-reader or online. The second thing is I'll link it to you for you to go online. For those folks that, like me, um, are, are definitely folks that, that are going to enjoy, uh, you know, just not paying for it, right? You get it for free. It's published in the 1800s. It's certainly going to be free. The only question is whether or not somebody has, and George is a big enough writer. He's influential enough. He's got a Penguin Classic sitter. Uh, I think he will. Um, and this short story is set in Fairyland. Um, and basically, we're going to open up with the king of Fairyland, and the king of Fairyland is actually human, and he's been elected uh, to be king of the fairies by the fairies. So we find out that their kingship is actually um, an elected one, and, and that's pretty cool, pretty interesting. And, and our gentleman, uh, our point of view character, has just uh, been elected. Uh, he has fallen uh, ill. Uh, before, prior to the, his election, and so he isn't 100% physically, uh, but he's certainly mentally cognizant, uh, and they call him Old Man, uh, before his name uh, in the story. And again, he's a point of view character. Uh, it looks like he's married, uh, so his wife would be the queen of Fairyland, and uh, he has, it looks like he has at least one kid in the nursery, uh, so he does have a family uh, that he cares about. Um, although it's also possible the person in the family in the nursery may not be his kid. Uh, there is a kid in the nursery, but it might be a grandkid, given his age. Uh, but, so, but he certainly has a family. He's certainly married with a, with a, with a nursery with, with at least one baby in it, and that's certainly a key part of the story. Uh, and then what? I'm going to be doing is this is actually my least favorite short story in this collection. Uh, I've given you know some a nine out of ten to a couple of short stories. Uh, I've given eight out of tens to everything else. This is the first seven out of ten I've encountered in this short story. Uh, and the I, but I like the central core idea. The central core idea is that after he's been coronated and goes back home and he meets all of his people. Uh, and there are some people who don't like him that much, like the goblins, and uh, so he knows that there are also some folks out there that just don't like him that much, um, and so he might have some problems. Uh, he runs into, sees this unusual vision back home at his, at his house, uh, in his bedroom, and he doesn't like this vision. It strikes him as particularly weird. Uh, and but he's sure that what's what's appearing in front of him uh, is one of his subjects from Fairyland because he's gotten used to this idea of being the king of the Fairyland. Uh, and there's a lot more in Fairyland than just fairies. There are a lot of other fantasy sort of characters, right, um, that are out there. Uh, so this guy um, uh, is eventually introduced uh, to a darker side of Fairyland creatures and these are called shadows um, and he'll learn a lot more about the shadows this darker side of fairyland uh, that are nocturnal by day come out by night uh, and uh, sleep in the day uh, and which were created and have a very different life a very different life span and so basically what's going to wind up happening he's going to go on a journey uh, with the with the shadows, um, they're going to put in a request for him, uh, and then he's going to hear a lot of dialogue from them. And so my main issue is um, is, it, is that this this short story 
despite the fact that it's 25 pages, has practically no plot that happens at all. You know, what I just told you, which is just a synopsis in like a sentence, that's all the plot that there is. There really isn't a lot of stuff that happens. What really happens instead are the dialogue where he's hearing stories and uh, that, that have happened and uh, as the king and um, his travel. And that's pretty much it. So, um, and getting a lot of description about this, this story. Now, I like, again, the, the sort of poor idea that there's a darker race out there uh, in fairyland that have a darker purpose uh, that's also just as vital uh, as the lighter side of things uh, to the uh, consequence, to, to the world. Uh, I like that. I think the George Nolan has a great idea with that. And when I was reading it for the first time and coming across this race called The Shadows, uh, the first thing that I thought about were Shadows from Dungeons & Dragons. A bad guy, a race of bad guys, call themselves the Shadows, uh, that are introduced in the first, uh, as the game is introduced, they're one of the creatures. Uh, so they've been around for a long time, they're still in the game in 5th edition. Uh, they're a key bad guy, typically for earlier encounters. And uh, I think there were some descriptions that were similar uh, between the two. Uh, so I would not be surprised at the idea of the shadows came from the guy who created the game. Uh, well, one of the guys who created the game, uh, Gary Gygax, uh, who um, was heavily read in fantasy, and this is fantasy, obviously. Uh, so I don't know. He doesn't list George McDonald as one of the, uh, in, you know, the the key things that he read and he drew ideas from. Uh, and places that you should go uh, when he lists other authors and other stories. Um, so George McDonald is not, but again, somebody who was as well read as him, you know, having not heard of George McDonald or having not read George McDonald, uh, again, I wouldn't be, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually had, uh, and that idea of a race of shadows uh, from Fairyland uh, what was one that resonated with him and stayed with him and he put it into the story. Make some changes for the game. Um, uh, you know, obviously, but again, I would not be surprised if that's where that idea comes from. So, uh, there's pretty cool. Uh, again, just giving a 7 out of 10 because there's not a whole lot of stuff that happens in a 25 page short story. Come on now. <laughs> uh, but, it's, it's good. I enjoyed it. I finished it last night. I knocked it out in about... 50 minutes or so. It took me about two minutes a page. Roughly, I think it was a little more than 50 minutes. Um, so it'd be surprised it was more than 53 minutes uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, but there you are. I'll leave you to it. Have you read The Shadows by George McDonald? If you have, what did you think of it? If you, uh, if there's something you'd like to talk about more in the comments below, I would be more than happy to engage you with that. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit that subscribe button or like button? Uh, there's going to be a lot more of these to follow in fantasy, like this one, science fiction, and horror. And then finally, hey, I just want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? And we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling. And I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have a great day.